What's going on guys, welcome to our first MW2 video today. Today we've got our first gold gun, we've got the Emperor A1. Before we jump into tips and tricks and how to actually unlock this camo, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe and turn the bell notification on so you never miss a video. Let's get into it. So, first I'm going to just address that they have changed how camos work in this game. So now you've got to level your gun up to normally between like level 20 or 30, which is max level now. And along the way, you will unlock the chance to be able to do four different challenges. So each gun's only actually got four different camos, except from the launchers, the riot shield and the knife. They've only got one, which is just straight kill challenges. So what you've got to do is, at, for example, on the M31, you unlock a challenge at level 2, 7, 13 and 19. So if you do all four of those challenges and complete them and get those camos unlocked, you will then unlock the gold camo challenge. You've then got to complete a challenge to unlock the gold camo. It's not just straight given to you. It is quite easy though, I'm not going to lie. Um, but we'll see how the grind goes further on. Platinum is the same as diamond always is. You just want to get all the gold assault rifles to unlock platinum assault rifles. Or all the gold SMGs to unlock platinum SMGs. Then we've got, after that, we've got the polyatomic camo. So that one, you've got to get every gun in the game gold. So you, you'll then have every gun in the game platinum by doing the platinum challenge. Then you will unlock some challenges, multiple challenges, to be able to unlock the polyatomic camo. Then once you've even got that camo, there's still another camo to unlock, the Orion camo. So that one, again, says challenges. So after you've unlocked polyatomic on every single gun, you will then be able to do a challenge on every single gun to get the Orion camo gonna be a bit of a grind but we'll see how long it actually takes right first let's get into this emperor a1 gold guide so at level two like i said you do unlock a challenge the first challenge is get 50 kills with the m4 nice and easy don't really need to explain that one just get some kills easy at level seven you unlock the desert hybrid camo by getting 50 kills while aiming down sights with the m4 again not much to explain there pretty simple pretty easy at level 13, you unlock the Dark Leaves camo, and that one is get 10 double kills with the M4. Again, not too many double kills, you will just get this naturally. If not, try play like an objective mode like Hardpoint or Domination, so people will normally flood the objectives, so you can kind of catch multiple of them at once. The last camo you'll get is at level 19, Urban Renewal, and that'll be get 15 kills from behind with the M4. So you just got to shoot them in the back. Again, pretty simple, 15 of those, it's just going to happen naturally. Once you've done all four of those camos, like I said, you'll get the gold challenge camo, or gold camo challenge, um, which is get three kills without dying ten times with the M4. Again, not too hard, you just want to like play a building, just play your life, don't rush and do stupid things, run around crazy. You only need three kill streak, ten times, pretty simple. Tips for doing it a little bit faster, I would say you do want to definitely be playing objective modes like Domination or Hardpoint, something along those lines. And you do probably want to play a little bit more rushy, you want to try slay a little bit. You don't want to just be camping for this, because you do need kills. And you're not going to get any kills playing like a Sentinel. So if you try to get like a building near their spawn and hold them in the spawn or stay in mid-map and pick a couple of them up, it should happen pretty easy. None of the challenges are actually that, that difficult, everyone should be able to obtain them. So that's going to be it today guys for how to get a gold m one Make sure to check out the rest of the gameplay in the video. And let me know in the comments below, are you playing multiplayer, spec ops or campaign first? What are you going to jump into and are you actually going to do the camera grind yourself? Do you really care about it or do you not really see the point? I think this year is a lot easier so I think a lot more people will go for it. But let me know down below, are you going to go for it or are you not bothered? Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you boys later. Peace.